Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this Olympic Games Cupcakes. We're gonna be starting with this piping tips. I'm using standard size. I'm using just the Wilton brand and I'm just going to be making the template using this piping tip. Um, you don't have to use this exact number, but this is just the one that I grabbed. I'm just going to grab my pen and a piece of paper. And I'm just going to make the logo, you know, search for the image. So just as a reference, you know where exactly to place in those circles. Um, and this is pretty much the template. Now for the next step, I'm going to be working with some realizing and I'm just going to be working uh, on top of this wax paper. You wanna make sure you work over the smoothest part on top, just to make it easier to remove the whole thing once you're done. Just to about my wax paper to move around, I just added some pieces of tape. I'm going to be using some tipless piping bags. I love these things, I use them all the time. The color that I'm starting with is the blue one. Yeah, I'm just going to follow the line or the uh, circles that I draw. I'm just going to be using my needle tool to just, you know, um, arrange the whole thing. I do have a tutorial for this needle tool just in case you want to make one for yourself. They are super easy and super handy, but if you don't want to, um, you know, make one, you can use a toothpick as well. Once I'm done with that one, I'm going to be moving on to the next one, which is the black one. As you can see, my uh, realizing was a bit too runny for the consistency of this one is because um, I wasn't using the same uh, brand as far as for gel coloring goes, but it's okay. So once I'm done with the black one, I'm leaving some gaps. As you can see, it's because of the arrows that go below these ones, and I need this to be crossed before I move on and just, yeah. <laughs> So once I'm done with that one, I'm just going to be moving on to red one and I'm just going to be doing the same thing, following my template and leaving that small uh, gap that I need. I'm just going to let the whole thing crest. Once uh, that's crest, I'm going to be moving on to the following colors, which is yellow and I'm going to be completing the circle like that. This is where it makes sense, those gaps that I left before. And last color is a uh, green one. And here is, I'm just going to be making another one. This is a black one because, you know, I just wanted to go for a change, do something different. And it's pretty much the same as, as I did before, letting them crest. And yeah, just make sure you just apply enough realizing because if you make those circles super thin, they are going to break. That happened to me and I show you that towards the end. Don't make them super thick because then they are going to look weird. You know, just enough, not the thick, not the thin, just to avoid having to to see your creations break. And yeah, I'm just going to let those crust. Once that's done, here comes the important part where you have to be like pretty gentle, pretty, pretty uh, delicate with uh, how you remove this because mine broke. One of my ones with the colors, um, they it broke. I can't use it anymore because it broke. And yeah, I was pretty sad about it, <laughs> to be honest, all the work that I did. Uh, I mean, I could use it again, just uh, adding some, you know, green realizing, but just so you know, it can break. And then I'm going to be working on the cupcake itself. I'm going to be using my um, tipless piping bags. Again, this is what they look like and this is where I got them from. I'm going to be using the big uh, open uh, piping tip. I'm not really sure if this is Wilson's brand because it doesn't have a low. I don't remember, but anyways, it's just the big one. I'm going to be swirling some um, whipped cream because I just love it and I'm pretty lazy. Sometimes I just whip some whipped cream and I'm good to go. But I'm going to arrange the logo. As you can see, that one broke as well, the last one, but I arranged it and it looks kind of cool, I think. And here's another one using my baking caps from Wilton. This one is a really colorful one. I made a review on the Wilton baking caps. Um, you can know, check it out, it's on the cards. And at the end, I just I decided to add more um, baking caps on the left one, following the colors of the logo itself, just to make it a bit more interesting. I hope you like it. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. I have a baking playlist. Check it out, it's on the cards. Don't forget to share this one. I've been obsessed with the Olympics and I just wanted to go to Brazil, but um, I couldn't make it. Hopefully for the next ones, I'll be there. I think it's a pretty cool experience, especially because all the people all around the world that they gather into just one place, one even a lifetime experience. Let me know if you have been watching them and if you like the Olympics as well. And also let me know where are you from. I'm pretty curious since we're talking about worldwide, you know, stuff. And also let me know which one is your favorite one, the colorful one or the black one. Take care and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.